Hello there. Tonight, I'd like to share with you a shave with a new razor that I got last week. I've been putting a slim adjustable through its paces this past week, and I got this fairly early on, but I uh, haven't had time to get to it because I wanted to get to know the slim a little bit better, but it's a 1924 shovel head ever ready 1924 shovel head it's in pretty nice condition uh i got it from uh stephen west on the frugal wet shaver he he finds them and offers them for sale the ones that he doesn't want or he has multiples of i really appreciate that i really appreciate uh being able to get this razor, Stephen, because I've wanted this for a while. I'm using a Jim Blue Star blade in it for its juice. Now they say I'm going to use uh, Barrister and Man Seville. And my Samoa 1460 board brush. Now they say that... Uh, that these shovel heads, I've never used one before, are aggressive. We're going to see, you know, uh, I've read horror stories about them on the, I love the way this Seville smells. It's really strong when you lather, before you lather it, it's really strong off the puck, and to be honest, kind of turned me off when I smell, smelled it off the puck because it, it was too strong but once you lather it it keeps it remains a strong scent uh, so that it's there you don't have to worry it's not subtle in any way but it mellows it out just enough in my opinion that it, it really changes the uh, sin and makes it a lot more complex. Uh, when I smell it off the puck, there's a, a really sharp spicy note that I get off of it. And that's almost all that I get. It overwhelms me. And then once you lather it, that spice is gone. And there's, there's some type of... To me, a citrusy type of note underneath it. Uh, there's a. I I even get sort of a a flowery or powdery type of scent off it, but which doesn't surprise me because uh, it's supposed to be a uh, barbershop scent. So, I mean, it's possible that I might be pulling off a bit of hair tonic scent off of it and, and just all kind of stuff. But it, the scent is a much more refined when you lather it as opposed to just off of the puff. But back to the 20, 1924, uh, there are uh, numerous posts on the forums. Let me wet my face. That uh, talk about how aggressive this razor is, and I've read posts. I just recently read a post on one of the forums where the guy said he basically just chewed his face up, you know, cut himself up good and stuff like that. Well, we shall see. I think that. Uh, that if a razor does that to somebody, it's probably more than likely that there was something wrong with the technique or there was something wrong with the blade or something wrong with the razor. Uh, I'm not saying you can't cut yourself and that there's no such thing as an aggressive razor because obviously there is and obviously you can excuse me let me dry my hands 
But I'm just saying that if you're really cutting your face up, more than likely there's something wrong. So let's see what we got here. Okay. I can see how I can see how somebody might turn this blade aggressive or this razor aggressive uh, if you don't watch the angle I can already tell you that that this razor will end up scraping instead of cutting. And that will be a much more aggressive feel and it will cause issues. But now that's incredibly smooth for a first pass. And this is a trouble spot that doesn't it takes a lot to get it smooth and it irritates and I can tell right now I'm not that's a really nice smooth pass and there's no irritation with this razor one of the biggest things that I have read on all the forums is in regard to the angle of the head Uh, on your face and every post I've ever read where there was discussion of that was that the blade needs to be the handle head needs to be almost flat against your face and I'm finding I'm finding that to be the case with this. Uh, the angle is rather a lot like, in my opinion, a straight razor angle. About 20 degrees. I know a lot of guys say 30 on the straight. Well, 20 and 25 for me on my straights is a perfect angle. And that's just a guess. But I would say between 20 and 25 on my straights is about perfect. And the angle of this razor wonderful wonderful shave wonderful pass uh the angle of this blade is really similar and I, and I can tell when i pull it back off of my face i can tell that it goes from nice and smooth to uh not tuggy but really an aggressive feel to the blade and I think that uh, I think angle is where people are getting the idea that this is aggressive because at the right angle what I think is the right angle the angle that I'm shaving at right now this is one of the smoothest shaving razors I've ever used period so, your mileage may vary, but that is that right there is absolutely lovely. It has an audible. There's a wonderful audible quality to this razor. It talks. I love that. I 
and I can tell you right now just from going along and feeling the shave as I go that it's an incredibly close shave. On the across the grain passes, I can get away with a more open angle if I want. The barrister and man, just one foot close. The barrister and man is slick enough that I can go back over and almost blade buff. Go back over areas that don't really have a lather on them and there's not pretty much of a problem with them. That's, that's a lovely pass. I love Hang strokes on my face with lather, and there's barrister and man's lather. It's got a feel, just a really soft, a pillowy kind of feel to it that I don't find in a lot of different lathers. I've mentioned it before. I don't know if that's just me, if anybody else is experiencing that. But, uh, It's absolutely luxurious. And I can tell you that this razor feels like It feels like it's going to produce a very close shave with very little in the way of irritation now. I say it feels that way. Is that going to be true? Well, we shall see. But right now it's looking really good.
You have me. Three passes, no nicks, no weepers. Nothing of the sort. Nice smooth shave. I'm gonna go over my chin. It doesn't really need it. It's uh it's really close to start with, a lot closer than my DEs, but there's a little this way. get rid of that just that little bit right there and that that's smooth as a cue ball <laughs> I mean that's smooth uh, I like that wonderful wonderful little shaver uh, I don't want everybody so scared of that's a beautiful shave uh, maybe I, I've never used them but I've heard that the PTFE coated stainless blades can be a bit rough for the first couple of shaves. Maybe they're making a mistake and using the wrong blade in that razor. And that's why it feels so aggressive. But that, it, that gentleman is one of the smoothest, closest, most comfortable shaves I've ever had in my life. It, it rivals a straight shave for comfort. Like I say, I don't know what all the aggressive talk is about. That's wonderful, wonderful razor. Uh, we're going to go with some, what is today? Today is Thursday. Don't know what. Okay. Go with a favorite. Some Pernod Clubbing. Let's see. Okay. Bit of steam here. Bit of steam along here, but not a lot. Quite a bit of burn here, but that's a trouble spot. It, but it's smoother than almost anything but a straight. This trouble spot here that I normally get much smoother no burn at all I can detect on the cheeks or the chin I'm gonna put a little more on a lot of guys on the forum say that the Pinard clubbing is a, a strong sin I don't find it to be I actually prefer to put a bit more of it on because I like the scent of it and it doesn't seem to stay as long the uh Avon Wild Country, which is, which was patterned after this, to me is a stronger aftershave, at least the vintage stuff. I've not tried the new because I've got a ton of the vintage laying around. But, uh, wonderful shave. Uh, Everybody 1924 shovel head. Jim Blue Star Blade. That's really hard to beat. Wonderful razor. Again, the Barrister and Man is top notch. The Samoog brushes, the 1460. The thing I like about them, when you get one that's well broken in, this one's been broken in for six, eight months. It's incredibly soft, uh, but it's still got a ton of backbone, and it's just a wonderful brush. That's my shave, gentlemen. God bless you, and thank you for being a part of it and I shall see you uh, on the next shave video ever ready 1924 shovel head if you're into SEs pick one of these up and try it get a good carbon blade watch your angle I think you're gonna find a really nice shaver all right God bless you. I'll see you on the forums and the social media, Google+, Facebook, and all of that. Thanks for being a part of it. Much appreciated.